I hope you enjoyed trying to translate the poem Mish with me. Now, translating poems can be a lot of fun, and it also helps you do some pretty important things. So let's have a look at these, and let's see what we did when we looked at the poem together. First, we saw how we can make or use a glossary to look at words of a poem. These were the smallest parts of the poem which we started with. Next, we started looking at words to work out what different lines or sentences can mean, and this helped us understand more of the poem. We then used our words and sentences to make our first decision. It was about the kind of effect we wanted our new poem to have. After deciding on the effect, we decided on the form. We thought about lines, rhymes, format, stanzas, and we made these decisions for our new poem. We then worked out our favorite place to start working on our translation. We decided which fragment we thought was best for our effect. Finally, we started translating. We worked with words, sentences, form, and order. We changed things and moved them around because we wanted our decisions about form and effect to stay important. So here's a list of all these things we did and all these decisions we made. Now, somebody who is a much better translator than me once told me this. Translation helps you make creative decisions. It also helps you know why you made them. And when you write or translate or sing or think or dance or plan anything, these two things can be very helpful. I hope you enjoyed learning more about them with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you thought this was fun, you can start thinking about your own translations of Mish or of any other poem. There are many poems to choose from on the Stephen Spender Prize website. Thank you.